Hello and welcome to a, another new build story. <laughs> please hit that like and subscribe button and please hit that notification bell. <laughs> oh my god, why do we do this? Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna build the FV432 Mark II or Mark I, depending on what variation you wanna do. This looks like a beautiful kit. The instructions are absolutely beautiful. Um, I have showed this, these instructions in a different video. So the plan is, is I'm gonna do the interior. This is gonna be interesting because I'll be able to uh, spray the inside, paint all the inside first. So it can, it's gonna break up the build a little bit. So it won't be just building, it will be um, a little bit of spraying and painting in between the building as well. Um, Hopefully this won't take too long. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It looks like I'm gonna have to get up to, yeah, it looks like I'm gonna, gonna have to get up to at least section nine um, before we start doing the outside. So up to section nine, it'd be a bit split up between painting, spraying and, and whatever, making. I wanna try and make the interior look worn as well so i'll be doing a special technique on the seats here make them look worn and repaired and whatever uh, because uh, these things are workhorse in the british army I, I do believe they're still using them to this day i will put up some pictures um, i'm sure you can find videos online of these in action uh, but yeah these are well used vehicles it's an armored personnel carrier uh, but it's also used in other roles, yeah, uh, ambulance, mortar, and uh, engineering vehicles. Because at my local museum, they actually have one of these. But it's, it's fitted out as an engineering vehicle and mine layer, um, which is very interesting. I have to go up there and take some pictures, I think. Um, so yeah, let's do this. Okay, so now I'm just going to. Get get all the parts ready. Check um, check we have all the parts. I've already opened the part. Already opened all the sprues and washed them. Um, so let's start uh, with A, which is the wheels and the running and also the running gear, suspension and so on. They look so good. As I the hint. They look well moulded as well, so there's hardly any work to do, which is always a good thing. That's G, so now we want D. The tracks. Uh, again, well moulded. I believe you can get metal tracks for this kit. Um, it could be an option in the future if I ever do another one. What's next? F. A little bit of work to be done there. That, that mould in there is not very good, but that's easily fixable. Then ones look like they were nothing important. Yeah, nothing too major. So, sprue E. Then you all the outside parts there. G. Again, looking good. These are part B, and obviously you've got the lower hole. You've got your little tool uh, for doing the track. It's going to be interesting. Looks like it's nice and moulded, now. It's like it's got a dip in there as well. Mm. Decals and some brass etching bits. I don't know if I'm going to put this uh, basket on the top because. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. Might have, an, might have another thing. Might use it for something else. Um, yeah. And then you've got all your glass periscopes. Light fittings and so on. Very interesting that they're all clear plastic. Which is H. So yeah. Okay, right, let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start making the little chairs, the little seats, or benches if you will. I'm going to be putting all the little bits and pieces together in all the sections. So all these all these little pieces. Also look, I need to make another three there, so I might as well make six and do them all at the same time. But basically I'm going to do all the little pieces right up to section nine. Because that's all the interior. So what I will do is I will make one to show you and then maybe do the fast forward things for hmm, I don't know, let's work it out. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'll just clear this one up. So yeah, so basically what I'm going to be doing is, is I'm going to be covering, because these are like the seat covers or the, or the cushions if you will. So what I'm going to do, and I've done this before in other videos, is get some aluminium foil, or tin foil as we call it in, <laughs> in the UK, but um, Aluminum foil, I think they call it in the US. So, uh, what I'm going to do? Oh, yes. Is put some super glue on here. We've done one, one. If you, I don't know if you can see, uh, but you can kind of see a little bit of texture on there. So yeah, I will do another, another five of those. I won't, I won't uh, bore you with the filming of that because it will take a while. Right, 
So yeah, now I'm going to attach in to the. Uh, I suppose you can call it the seat bottom. And there we have all six. So if you can tell uh, in the pictures, but you can kind of there's a crinkliness to it. I suppose you can say. Then you can kind of like rough the edges up a bit as well. So they look kind of more worn. So add little bits that you can add some rips to it. You can also add, if I can cut this, <laughs> I don't know if I can cut this any finer. Some uh, extra bits. It looks like uh, done a little, they've done like a repair job. Ooh, a bit of gaffer tape. Do you get the general idea, really? <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to be uh, putting this little bit together and then maybe moving on to this bit over here and this bit. Okay, right now I'm going to move moving on to the, the radio sets. What I'm going to try and do is um, assemble this bit, but hopefully put the radios in differently uh, at a different time because uh, I want to be able to paint them separately. I'm also going to be doing the battery, putting the battery battery pack together. So yeah, so basically what I want to do is it looks like I can slide these in. Yeah, I've already prepared these by the way. Uh, so I should be able to put this top on. Should. <laughs> Just place them in there for now for safekeeping. So now what I might do is I might cut off these sections um, and just dry a bit more just to see where I'm going to be going with this. <laughs>
Now the reason why I'm dry fitting is because I'm, I'm just kind of seeing where I can put stuff uh, before spraying and where can I spray things separately. I think I can attach these side walls. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, going to fit these little bits and pieces which I've already cut off and cleaned up. Um, I don't know if I'm going to fit that one, stick that one yet because uh, it sticks up a bit and it's going to be knocking off. But I might stick these two little bits because I can paint those separately, kind of as a matter. I've also been thinking about how I'm going to be doing the wiring. I need to probably use some fuse wire and uh, put some wires in going through various things but I need to look at some reference pictures hmm, I wonder if I could actually stick that one if it would be it should be alright Okay, now I'm going to be moving on to this section. Um, I'll be doing the chair in a moment. Let's do this bit first. I've already cut the uh, bits off the sprue. And uh, I've already cleaned them up as well. Okay, now we're moving on to this section, which is the, uh, the little chair there. And uh, I had a little bit of a disaster when I was cutting the bits off, pre-cutting the bits off, uh, that bit broke. So I had to make one a bit out of metal, a bit out of old uh, fuse wire. Hopefully it's all right. Yeah. Let's just see if we can touch that bit first. Okay, now we're moving on to this bit here. I'm going to put this bit together. And then maybe uh, cut out this bit and prepare it. And maybe do all this little bit over here.
and we put the clear bit on there's a, a clear bit from H that goes there and we'll, we'll put that on there because uh, we're going to prime all this okay moving on to this section here um, the commander's chair you can have it in uh, two different positions seating position or stowed away I'm going to actually have it stowed away because uh, I think yeah, it's probably going to be better that way Okay, so I'm not actually going to attach that because obviously I'm going to be doing, doing the painting. Uh, so let's move on to this. I think I might stick that bit later. Now uh, moving on to this section, we're going to be putting together the, I think it's the air, fil air filtration system and obviously uh, the side wall on one side and we might move on to the side wall the other side but I'm probably not going to stick any of them because uh, I'm going to spray them separately. Let's have a look. Okay, that's going to slide off. Okay, jumping forward a bit because uh, this is technically still the interior. Um, but yeah, I've got to put these these um, air filtration, air coolant, whatever it is. This, <laughs> I've got to, got to put that in anyway. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, I've already prepared it all.
Okay, we're pretty much coming to the end of the video now. And I've done a little bit of preparing here, as you can see in the photograph, all ready for priming. So in the next video, I will be doing some priming and some painting and generally just finishing off the interior, hopefully. Uh, so please join me next time. Please like and subscribe. Please hit that notification bell and leave a comment in the comment section below. See you next time. Bye.